Hey guys, Dirk Knudsen, we remember Hillsboro here. Well, happy Memorial Day. It's been a busy day. I'm out here at 725, excuse me, near 725 Southeast 7th. And I'm at the home of June Neveling, June Wells Neveling. And we've talked about her before. She is one of the Wells uh, family of Hillsboro. Lesser known nowadays, but I just got done going through the house and what a Memorial Day this would have been should they still be here. I'm going to start off by telling you that June's grandmother, Anna Marshwells, Anna Leota Marshwells, is a Daughters of the American Revolution. Uh, Anna's father, uh, he was William Marsh, and he was a captain in the Revolutionary War. So that would be her, excuse me, probably her grandfather, great-great-grandfather. So 1924, the Daughters of the American Revolution gave this to Mrs. Anna Marsh. That's going to be June's grandmother, Charles, Dr. Charles Wells' mother, Anna Marsh. Also, terrific woman who little people, very little people know about her. She was the chairman of the Hillsborough City Council in 1940 when she died of a heart attack at a young age. First woman to serve on the Hillsborough School Board in 1915 through 1925. Uh, here's another one of the Wells boys. I don't have his name, but I think two or three of them perished during the various wars. So the family has a great commitment to our country. Here is June Wells, who was a Hillsborough beauty, need I say less. There's June when she got married in 1949. Here's June's official certificate from Pan American Airlines for the system of the Flying Clippers. She got a special award for crossing the International Dateline and being one of the first to do it. Um, she actually went to Hawaii as the first stewardess of Pan American Airlines from the state of Oregon. We have a wonderful article about that, where she would meet her husband. In that package I found Hillsborough Argus Cookbook, 1940. Bonus for history, not like me. There are no family members left in Hillsboro, so Grandma Marsh, Wells, June 1949, cookbook, one of the Wells boys from the beautiful home at 725 uh, Southeast 7th. So let's talk about this flag. This is a 48-star flag. This is the one of the early uniform jackets of Lieutenant Colonel Gilbert Neveling. Now, Mrs. Wells, Mrs. Young, beautiful Wells, met Colonel Neverling by all reports in Hawaii on that first flight in a bar in Waikiki, and they were not allowed to, to uh, talk in a bar. It was against policy. So the uh, wonderful, beautiful Mrs. June Wells, uh, Miss June Wells, asked him to meet her later. They met later, and go figure, our wonderful stewardess from Hillsboro, Oregon, also an art student at Pacific University, married the gentleman here in Hillsboro, Oregon. There they are in the backyard at the wedding that was attended by almost everybody in Hillsboro. And here's the happy group. Several of these young men served in our military. On the far right is Gilbert and June. Um, her mother Lola, or excuse me, Geneva, a.k.a. Pinky Wells, and Dr. Wells on the far right, her father and mother. Here is Lieutenant Colonel Wells in 1949 with a sword given to him by members of the Japanese government after it was reorganized, and uh, a 600-year-old sword cut their wedding cake. Now, I want to remember Gilbert. He's from Pennsylvania, but he married this wonderful young woman from Hillsboro. Gilbert served in World War I. He was born in 1902, 1901, served in World War I, stayed in the service, went on to serve in World War II as a pilot, and in the Korean War as well. So what a commitment. Here is one of several racks of medals Gilbert Neveling racked up. Here is a timepiece from his desk in Korea. You can just feel the history coming off this beautifully inlaid uh, abalone desk. And Gilbert flew 10,000 sorties with the 9th Bombers Division in Korea. There's Gilbert. Who fought in three wars? Oh my God, what a guy. And in 1957, 
Mrs. Wells received this letter, the letter you never want to get. It was with sorrow and personal regret that I learned the death of your husband, Lieutenant Colonel Gilbert Nevelin. Gil was a popular and highly respected member of the Tactical Air Command. His loss will be deeply felt. Um, O.P. Weiland, General, United States Air Force. Gilbert Nevelin was a fine pilot. He was flying a P-58 jet from Langley, got to Niagara Falls. The engine went out on the jet. It was an early test jet, so he became a test pilot late in his career. Gilbert wrecked the jet and was given... Uh, posthumously a burial at Arlington National Cemetery. Thus this 48 star flag is here in this estate and I am left as the representative of the estate with no people in Hillsborough left and I cannot find family to decide what to do with all this. So I want to give credit to the Wells family from the revolution to World War I and on and to Gilbert Nebling, an American hero for three wars and here are a number of letters from various generals thanking her, uh, his death certificate, and uh, two Western Union telegraphs. Tactical Air Command. And finally, his personal effects list. So, live from Jackson Bottom, happy Memorial Day, everyone. This one hit home. It just happened to be something that crossed my path and I felt like it was worth sharing. I salute everyone that served and passed and everyone who now serves. May we be thankful forever for your work. God bless you all.